Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Uh, today we've got a Toyota Kluger, got the 2GR FKS motor in there. Uh, this one's a 2018 model and I'm um, just going to show you the transmission uh, drain and refill procedure. We are uh, just doing a service on this one for the first time. Uh, it was the first time we've seen the car. Trans is looking not the best. Um, not the worst we've ever seen, definitely due for a service. Uh, couldn't find any information online of where the actual uh, fill plug was. Uh, it's not your typical uh, lower pan style transmission. This is an 8 speed UA80F for Freddy, is the transmission code. It's got the side pan on there. Our drain plug here, uh, if I can find it, I'm going to just put it down somewhere. Either way, it is a, uh, oh, here we go, Whoa, 10 mil Allen head screw underneath and inside the screw, we're going to also have another Allen head and um, that is going to have our level. So I'll just get the tool and I'll uh, start screwing that out. So we've got our little T handle, uh, 6 mil, and hopefully I can do this with one hand, put it in there. You want to screw out that plug and you will see this plug make its way out. There we go. Just going to drain it into our uh, thing just to confirm that we are putting. As soon as it was the first one that we were doing, I was just going to drain it, um, measure it and put the correct amount back in. But when I pulled the plug, um, I could see that the amount of fluid that was coming out was not much. And um, here is our level plug. In fact, I'd almost say that this thing was not filled correctly with the amount that came out when I took this out. Should have quite a large flow coming out. So this is our level. And when this is all drained out, we're just going to screw this back in and it sets the level and then our fill plug. <clears throat> is on the back of the gearbox. And it is that 24 mil. <sighs> Let me just put the camera on. That 24 mil right there. It's got WS on the side of the plug. When you see that, uh, that stands for World Standard Oil. Um, so in our case, we are going to use a fully synthetic automatic transmission oil. Um, we buy ours from Driveline over here in WA and it's called Lube Guard Fully Synthetic Automatic Transmission Fluid. And let's have a look at our level, how much we've pulled out of this thing. About two and a half litres. Um, whilst the, the data on the fill and drain location on the computer was not correct, um, it did say the drain and refill amount was about three litres. So, as I say, I don't think this level was correct um, from the last person who serviced it. So what we will do... We'll screw our plug back in, our level plug, and then uh, leave the drain plug out. So just the level plugs in there. Take the fill plug out the side. We'll put our filler neck in, and we'll start pumping in the fluid and um, set the level. But the car needs to be running. It needs to be pulled through gears. I'll take you guys through that, and um, yeah, give you the rundown in the next next shot. Okay, so. Here we've got our plug in um, the side of the back of the gearbox through that 24 mil, and underneath still have our drain plug out, but our check level stick has been screwed in. Don't do that overly tight; it's plastic. Only needs to be nipped up very slightly. So, got our drum. Going to start pumping it in. Should take about. 25 pumps I'd say before it starts coming out. I'm just going to watch underneath here. I'm 
and then when it starts coming out, um, I've got the co-worker in the car, he's going to start the car and he's going to pull it through the gears. Righto. So you can see how the level goes away, it's being pumped around the gearbox. You're going to pull it through the gears, get it through the valve body. Still pumping in slowly. Pull into drive. You just want to sort of let that level do its thing. And we'll get our fill plug, uh, sorry, the drain plug. It's this one. And when that level sort of starts to flicker like it is, a little bit less. Right up. Cool. So we can tell that level is getting to the check, the correct level, and that's good enough. Uh, we just want to tighten it up and clean it up, put our fill plug back in, clean it up, and that's the job done on this one. So you just got to make sure that it's in, in each gear. Um, there probably will be some criticisms about oil temperature, etc. It's 30 odd degrees here in Australia. Um, the oil level temperature is like near 50 degrees. It's really not going to change that much between 30 and 50. Um, I'm happy with this. If you're in a cold state, um, it would be worth warming it up and getting the level correct. And that's it guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for following us. If you uh, learned anything, uh, please consider liking it, please consider subscribing, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.